Lake and Bay Backwater proudly presents Chew on This with Captain Ben Chansey. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. It's tarpon. Tarpon. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 o
Come on, baby. Oh, that could be, I don't know what that is. The bird spooked him a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> look, look at that, you guys. It's tarping, it's tarping. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on! That's a big school of tarpon, you guys! Oh shoot! Oh. All right, you're right. Oh my goodness! <laughs> come on, come on! They're eating up this fish belly gator minnow out here. Out in the middle, too! Come on now. Mm. Alright, you guys, I know you gotta be wondering what was Captain Ben using today to catch those snook and have those tarpon just blast that bait like they did? Well, and what I'm using here is a gator minnow, and it's from Fish Belly Lure Company. We started off using a root beer color, and then we went to a clear with some um, glitter in it and we also used another lighter motor oil color and Flish Belly Lures does a real good job at creating a very lifelike bait. You see how it kind of wiggles in my hand? I'm not sitting there doing this or anything. It almost looks live just sitting there in my hands and it's done a very good job for us today. So if you guys want to check it out, it's the Gator Minnow from Fish Belly Lures and if you want to get one, go to their website at fishbelly.com and you'll see all their products from Fish Belly Lures. We did real well on these today. You guys go check them out. This segment is being brought to you by Lake and Bay Backwater. You know, I'm out here throwing this, this fish belly gator minnow, you guys. And I, oh, oh, oh my goodness, I just had a tarpon miss it. And I'm actually thinking I'm throwing and getting tarpon on. But uh, out in the middle, you know, I mean, I'm throwing up to the bank. I see snook busting at the bank. But then as I bring it back to me, you know, I'm seeing tarpon roll. And, and I'm thinking that that's probably what I'm going to get. Yet it's snook busting out here in the middle. And we're seeing the tarpon roll, but we're getting snook out in the middle. It's strange. They're just eating this lure up. Fishing out of a kayak, you gotta really change how you how you fish, because you know usually you're used to, I'm used to standing up fishing on the bow of a boat and working with my rod tip down. Well, here I can't really turn it down, so I get the rod the butt real close to my chest and just work the tip just a little bit different than what I normally would. But it works just fine. I had you. You guys see them up there, that's what we're seeing. I think those are tarpon that we're seeing up that way. I just had one miss my bait. Look, you missed it twice. Ah. Tarpon have a, a major tendency of short striking. I don't, I don't know why they do that quite so much, but they do. Come on, that looks like the hair, you know. Oh, there he is behind it. I don't know if that'll get him, but... I think he went to the left instead of to the right where I cast him. Let's 
position the boat a little different. See, right now where we are, we've got a good, I don't know, it's probably 8, 10 foot deep right here. But where I'm casting, where you guys see those fish pushing, it's probably a foot and a half. So I'm assuming these fish are just moving back and forth from the deeper water to the shallower water. You see some nice busts on the deeper water. Some of these nice busts on the deeper water. And then they move up on the shallow water. It really seems like they hammer it. But so far we've had our best look in the deeper water. We had one nice follow and saw some nice fish, but didn't catch any of them. <laughs> Woo, come on, buddy. <laughs> All right, you guys, I got a giant on. Take a deep breath. <laughs> and even this little fish pulled me around in the kayak a little bit. That's fun. Big fun. Come on, fella. You got to be all of like, I don't know, 15 inches maybe? <laughs> but you come back to me whenever you get bigger. I'm going to let you go. Uh, here you go. Ah. On the gator minnow again. Not quite as big, but still, it's doing its job for me. I'm feeling it, you guys, right there along that bank. Yeah, right there, he's gonna stump it. Come on. I can't set the hook like I normally would for fear of falling out of the boat. Even though I haven't, and even though it's done great for me, I've still been scared. Come on, baby, keep me right there. Come on. Come Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, shoot. Get up in there, paddle. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I'm skiing. <laughs> Come on, I bet. Get him, baby. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Uh oh. I'm going into the shore, aren't I? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I disappeared on you guys, didn't I? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> there you go. Another beautiful snook. Yeah, baby, good stuff. You know, this one here is a good seven, eight pounds. And uh, I went skiing. I didn't know I was coming out here to go skiing. I thought I was just coming out here to catch a, to catch a snook. <laughs> I didn't know I was coming to go skiing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> somehow my hook got all the way through to the back of her. There we go. Hooked her all the way through. Ah! Another beauty, you guys. Probably six pounds, I'd say. But still, pretty fish. Look where we're at, kayak fishing. All right, let's see if we can keep it going. There you go, girl. All right, you guys. Christmas is just around the corner. In case you were wondering what you should get that beloved angler or anglers in your family, I personally choose the Avet MXL. This is the reel that I've been using for catching those big snook, tarpon, all those type fish, and this is what I've been using. It's a reel that's made here in the United States of America. 
Angler's Outlet carries them there at Cape Coral on Del Prado Boulevard. And it, this particular model is a two-speed. I love the color, and it's machined out of bar stock aluminum. It's not cast, so that makes it one of the strongest reels made, and the drags are phenomenal in it. So if you're looking to get somebody a high-quality reel, the MXL single speed is only around $175, and then the two-speed is around $325. It's very, very well priced. So if you're looking to get somebody a high-quality reel for Christmas, the MXL is what I recommend. And then as far as rods go, the Crowder rod is one of the rods we use today, and uh, I really enjoyed it. It's, it's done well for us. I've caught some big snook off of it. The other kayak show I did, I think I landed a snook somewhere close to 20 pounds in the kayak. So it held up real well for me. They're a fairly well-priced rod. So if you guys are looking for getting your loved one a great Christmas present, Crowder rods, Avet reels work out very, very well. So you guys, remember, Christmas comes around, or start looking at it now. Pick yourselves up an Avet or a Crowder rod. This segment is being brought to you by Barnes Family Chiropractic, 239-541-3434. All right, you guys, I hope you've enjoyed the show so far. I wanted to take you back to something special. You haven't had a chance to see it. My cameraman and I were in Stewart, Florida. It was the day after we just got through finishing another fishing show for another captain. And we haven't actually been able to fish that area and find the type of fishing that we knew existed there, at least we thought existed there. I've been there for a couple of years now, and I've been trying to catch a 30-pounder. I've caught some 20 pounders, I've caught multiple fish over 20 pound, pounds because that area is known for huge snook, especially in the summertime. But I wasn't able to get that big fish. Well, I had, I had a feeling that next day after we finished that show, we got out there and put some effort in. Maybe we could do something special. So I've got a clip. We weren't filming that day, but when we saw this fish come out of the water, we both looked at each other, something like, and then we said, oh my goodness. So we scrambled, grabbed the camera, filmed the rest of the landing and that type of thing. And when you guys see this snook, as far as I know, it's the largest snook ever captured on film that's ever been broadcasted on TV. We did measurements. It was 47 inches around, or 47 inches long, 27 inches around. And according to the fish formula that we used, it put it at 42.3 pounds. It was an absolute monster. State record is 44 pounds. Right now, with the way it is in the state of Florida, it's not possible for us out of a boat to get a state record because of how you have to measure it and what you have to weigh it on. We're not allowed to transport the snook off of our boat or to the beach or anything like that. So we just took a measurement of the fish and you guys see for yourself and you know, email me back, let me know if you think it's the biggest snook you've ever seen on TV. I hope you guys have enjoyed this edition of the Chew on This Saltwater Fishing Show. Take a look at this clip, and after you see it, you'll know what to say. I'm going to go ahead and tell you anyway, when you see that big fish, whether you're throwing a big live bait or an artificial, you make sure you tell them, chew on this. Godspeed, I'll see you guys next week. This segment is brought to you by Fish Belly Lures. Let's hook up. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Oh, my goodness. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You guys watch, watch. I think it's going to be a big one coming up. Look at, oh my goodness. It's a monster. Oh boy. Check that fish out. Oh my goodness, you guys. It's got to be the biggest one I've ever seen before. Oh, get over here, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Oh, oh. You guys, look at that fish. Oh my word. Oh, oh come on, come on, come on. Oh. I'm going to get measurements of it. Wait just a second, you guys. Wait just a moment. Look, you guys. Come over here to look closer. Come over here and look at this fish. Oh, my God. I'm just like a lifelong dream right here. I fish these docks for years, fishing all over the place. And here in Stewart, Florida, I mean, it's just so awesome. And this fish is just phenomenal, you guys. I've never done anything like this before. I love the snook fish, I love Goliath fishing, but this humongous snook here, it's the greatest, man. I'm so excited right now. I don't know what to do. Oh, my word. I'm going to pick her up. 
But I'm not gonna pick her up with the boat grip, so let me get it straight. You guys, just hold on for a minute, okay? Just hold on. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, come here, girl. Get you out of the water. Dude. I'm not taking that hook out of here, because... Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Get back up here. Look at that, you guys. Oh my word. <laughs> oh, my best look fishing day ever. Oh, I gotta put the boca back on her. She's gonna come off. Oh. in the boga. I ain't using the boga. Here we go. Here we go, you guys. Here we go. Look at that fish. Look at that fish. That's a snook, you guys. That's a snook at home, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He tried to get you guys. All right, come here, girl. Thank you so much for eating my line. Oh, praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, one more quick look at her. It's my biggest look by far. I don't even know if I've ever seen one this big in the water, but she is amazing. I'm gonna let her go. And thank you, thank you, thank you, good girl. We took good care of her. She's feeling good, so we're gonna, we're gonna let her swim on off. There you go, girl, okay? Come on. You good? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wouldn't believe it if you saw it, huh? <laughs> Me either. <laughs> Chew on this, you guys. <laughs>